Okay, uh, 511, what hole are we on? We drove out to the course. Number three. Hole number three. Okay, hole number three. So 511 yards, par five. Uh, 260 to carry the bunkers on the right, but we should be okay. Maybe we just go down the left, I think, anyway. All right, game on. Play well, guys. Left. Pretty safe. Avoided the trouble there, Pierce. I like your style. First shot of the day there. Snap. <laughs> Sociable again there, Pierce. Yeah, absolutely. Just to, just it makes it a lot easier with the buggy, doesn't it? <laughs> makes it a lot easier with the buggy. Oh. All right. Now, Devon really ought to be, this is his home track sort of, so he should be uh, giving us about Showing shot every other hole. If I don't lay the side over the back of it. <laughs> this is the earliest I've gotten up for anyone. <laughs> this is an early start, guys. That's yeah, hard. down the left, that's the way to go. That's, that's cool. Way. Yeah. But he must know something that we don't Yeah, know. he's, definitely, uh, well, he's yeah. definitely got a good line yeah. in there. Okay, Andy, so as we thought from the tee, this is the best place to be. Railroad to the right. So I've got uh, 255 left. I'm going to go with a six iron, which should leave me maybe 70, 80 yards in. So give okay. yourself a pretty straightforward pitch in, hopefully. Sensible play, first Sensible hole of the day. Sensible play, yeah, three shots are on this one. Sounds defensive, but it's actually quite attacking. I think so, I think maybe a little left from hard to tell with the trees there. Yep, be okay. Side. Cool. Okay, Devin, we've got uh, probably similar sort of distance left here on the fairway. Yep, so 250. You know, there's trouble to the right. I generally take it down the left side. You know, take all I got, really, get it up there and give myself a reasonable chip at it. So I'm going to go ahead and go with a longer club, a little bit of a hybrid, and just bun it up there. Okay. Yeah, good strike. Down the left side, as you said. Yeah, that should be all right. Coming back across it, but it should work. Good, good angle to come in from there. Yeah, I think so. Okay, Pierce, what have we right. got here now? Okay, 225 left, but I'm just in a bit of a bear patch, unfortunately, so I'm just going to advance it down with a 9-9. Again, leave myself something. Uh, leave myself around about 100 yards left. Okay. Yeah, nice shot. Should work well that one. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Okay, Andy, 86 yards. 86 yards, not a bad number there for my for me. That's a 58 degree, so just a smooth one of these really. Should okay. be good. See there, perfect line in. Perfect line in. Flag there. All right, good luck. Good, is it? It's going to go a little. All right, front edge maybe, a bit yeah, more. Front edge, yeah, just needed a bit more, I think. Okay. okay cool. Nice tactical layup there, Pierce. Yeah, good Please. line in from here. So we've got 69 yards left. Lob wedge. It's about a three quarter. Nice and smooth there, that should be good. Yeah, good. Yeah, it'll pass, it'll pass. Come on, let's start with the birdie here today. Yeah, yeah? I didn't, start with yeah, the birdie. Got to get some birdies. Got to get some birdies. Come on. Seven. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know about 55 yards probably. Okay, not lying too bad, is it? No, not bad. I mean, it's you know you get this yellow grass here in town, and this is kukuya grass, and it's it's like a weed, so it can really grab under your club. This is what they'll talk about like at Riviera and such, you know. So it can okay. really get a hold of you. Really grainy, multiple directions, but I'm sitting good. Sitting up, I've got a lob wedge, and you know, the goals get as much ball on the face as I can. Okay, anywhere inside pierces would be good there, I think. I like that. Go. 
right. It's right at it. Just needs to maybe run a little bit. Yeah. Good. That'll work. Okay, so Andy's got about a 40 foot putt. Start the earth. Right then, Pierce, come on, let's kick off with the birdie down here. All so right. I'd say this is going to be uh, maybe a cup to two cups outside the left side, downhill. It's going to be quite fast. First put of the day, just get used to the greens. Started it quite a long way left. Didn't move much back in. Just coming at the end there. Fully. Pretty good though, Pierce, there. Okay, so Devon. He's got a pretty straight putt here, I think. A little bit uphill, so he's gonna can afford to be a little bit more positive with this one. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. There we go. Ah, there we that. go. Local yeah. local knowledge there. Uh, look yeah, at that. You see that so five foot downhill, left to right. Not a lot in it. It's pretty good, yeah. Just nearly got away straight at the end. Good putt though. Straight forward par there. So long par four. You know, it's it's pretty straight away. Following the fairway here is generally a mistake. You know, so I've got a case of the pulls right now. I'm going to go ahead and knock it down the left side as hard as I can hit it. All and right. The green's pretty flat, so straight forward. 440 yards. Pretty flat green. Straight forward. That's what I like to hit. That's pretty much what he said. Yeah, so that's not bad. I mean, really cool, but good shot. Yeah, do you know what? Good though. Is that good? Uh, yeah, really good. Good shot. Didn't see it. Right then, Mr. Pradman, follow that. Good. Good hit. Okay, Pierce, Done. down the left side in the rough here. Yep. Uh, 144 left, so smooth 9 iron, I think. Flag's deep, so I don't want to be forcing it. Flag is just behind this tree here, so anywhere over that tree is going to be a good line. There's smooth what? Breeze may be picking up. What club are you going with, sorry? 9 uh, iron. Smooth 9 iron. Nine -nine. Oh, it's all over it, that is. All yeah. over it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, Devin, so you got 130 here. Pierce has knocked it close. Yep. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to just punch a 9-iron in there. Okay. You know, it's got a little bit of an upslope, so it's going to probably knock it up in the air. Pins all the way back, ton of green to work with. If I could knock it to that back fringe, I think that would be ideal. Okay, I think that's a good club. Done it nice, nice punch there, really hit it into the slope. And oh great bounce. Get inside. And knocked man. it inside Pierce. Look at that. Oh. Oh. There we are, showing the English boys how it's done. Oh. Two good shots to get to get inside there. Ah, with a yeah. 9 140 yards here. Yeah, no Devin breeze Wheeler. at all today. Devin, we're looking good there. You are looking good. I reckon 10 feet. If maybe, maybe better. Pretty good one. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to get you. Yeah, not bad. 12 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good shots there. Yeah. Good over this one. Feeling good, he says. All right, so it looks like there's a little bit of right to left. Let me check. Maybe not a, not a great deal, I don't think, in this. Slightly uphill. Good chance for birdie.
Oh, I just over borrowed it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. That was close. Okay, give you that one. Just over borrowed it. Good effort. Oh, just turned up off the right. I wouldn't have had it on that actually off the right. But interesting how uh, Devon looks at yeah, look the that. the hole as opposed to the ball. Yeah. Okay, birdie chance for Pierce. We've got to make one of these. But uh, obviously Pierce has just learned a lot from that putt. So Let's see if he can take advantage. Nice and firm. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Wow. So, so Devin, obviously you're looking at the the target as opposed to the ball. Is that on short ones or everyone? Everyone. everyone. You know, I, it's something that I developed when I was really young, and uh, it was always a drill I would go to when I was playing quite a bit. Yeah. And so um, now it's just something that's a go-to, automatic for me. You know, and it's pretty easy. I, I go through two steps. One is I obviously I pick my line, make a read, and then the other thing is is I try and focus on the hole as long as I can and wait for the ball to get there. So it, it limits, so I'm not, you know, working on the stroke a ton and worrying about a ton of stuff. So it, it, it works. I mean, I scare the hole quite a bit. Yeah. And it might have came out of maybe having the yips at some point. I'm not admitting to anything like that, but it's shaking the yips for, you know, quite a few of my players and probably myself. So yeah. it's good. There you go. Good, interesting to that a go? Yeah, because you're not focusing on technique. You're yeah. looking at line like you're throwing a yeah, ball. Yeah. You know, you wouldn't look at the ball. You look and wouldn't look at your hand and right. the ball when you're throwing it. So, yeah, I just don't feel like I'm manufacturing a putting stroke. And, you know, with all the years of experience and coaching and this, that, and the other, and worrying so much about it, I worry far less, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, I can tell if it hits on the toe or if I mishit it a bit. Yeah. So I can make corrections, but it's 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 working. Great for pace putting. Yeah. Great for pace putting. Okay, so that's the end of part one of our course vlog, River Walk. One under par. One under par. Level par, Level what's going par. on here? Great Ooh, start there. Birdies, some birdies. Some birdies. Okay, so you know the drill, guys. Go to part two, click the link below, and see if we've got some more birdies in us, yeah? I love it. Come on. Love it.